NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we will discuss about the string insulator concepts and its efficiency calculations. How to calculate the efficiency for the string insulators? It is a very important topic for the triple students. In the competitive examinations, we may expect some questions in that area. So, it's important for all engineering, all electrical engineering students. So, first. This is the basic image of the string insulator. The in the string insulator, number of discs are connected in series. Okay. The number of disc is based on the line voltage. If line voltage is 11 kV, one disc is enough because the capacity of the disc is 11 kV. So if the line voltage, conductor voltage is 33 kV. We need three discs in series. If the line voltage is 66 kV, then we need six discs in series. Okay, this is a basic. A metal link is used to connect the disc. Efficiency calculation is very much important for uh, insulators. So, for the calculation of efficiency, the equivalent circuit is important. The equivalent circuit is very simple. Here, the disc this is the insulation medium. Here, metal link is metal link. The conductive medium, yeah, insulation is between the two conductive medium, so the disc is represented by the air pastors because uh, the insulation between the two conductive medium, the disc is re disc represented the insulation medium, the metal link is a conductive medium, so it's like a capacitor, so it, it is represented by a capacitor. So this capacitor is called a self capacitor. Okay, then so we may uh, represents the disc as a capacitor. Here number of disc is 3. So number of capacitance is 3. The type of metal material all are same. So the capacitance effect are same. Okay. If the character voltage is 33 kV, it shares 11 kV equally. Okay. This is the ideal case. But practically uh, there is a capacitance effect between the metal link and tower because the metal link is a conductive medium, tower also a conductive medium, tower is a metal, so conductive medium. There is a insulation air between the two conductive medium insulation. It acts as a insulation, so it is a capacitance effect. So, okay. okay. So practically there is a capacitance effect between the metal link and tower. So now the equivalent circuit will become like this. This is this capacitance is represented by a disc capacitance. This capacitance between the metal link and tower. Okay, so uh, this capacitance is represented K into C. This capacitance is called as center capacitance. This capacitance value is a fraction amount of this self capacitance. So it is a K. Okay, K is the fraction amount. Okay, this is a equivalent circuits for the practical case. So due to that capacitance effect, the voltage across each disc are not same. Now we will discuss efficiency calculations. Let us take this. Uh, ideally, all the across the disc are same because there is no sand capacitance effect. But practically, there is a sand capacitance effect. Due to the sand capacitance effect, the all the across the disc very near to the conductive medium is much higher than the all the across the disc far away from the conductor. Okay, so V3 is much higher than V2 and V1. V line voltage V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3, but V3 is higher than V1. Okay, this is a practical case, but in ideal case, V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3. Okay, the efficiency is related to the voltage across the disc. If voltage across the disc are same, the efficiency is 100%. If voltage across the disc is varied, the efficiency is varied. Okay, so this formula you have to remember this formula efficiency is equal to line voltage by number of disc in the voltage across the disc very near to the line. Here, line voltage will be so V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. The number of disc is 3, so in 3, all the jackets are disc near to the line is V3, so V3. This is a formula. Okay, now we will analyze. Now we will analyze the equivalent circuits. So for the analysis or for the calculation of efficiency, we need to calculate potential at any point and current flow through each capacitor. So first we will calculate potential at all the point, not point. Okay, so uh, potential at point A, apply case of voltage law. Potential at point A means this point to ground. That means the point to ground. Okay. So this point to ground means apply 
this is voltage la applied voltage is of the trap here applied voltage will be a trap means v1 okay this trap is v1 so v is equal to v1 potential point p here this applied voltage is vb trap v2 plus v1 this ground so vb is equal to v1 plus v2 because at the point at the point to ground potential at the point means this point to ground okay so at potential point c means this point to ground so we may take this one but this is sunt capacitance don't know the voltage across the uh, sunt capacitance so uh, take this path select this path okay this v3 uh, v2 v1 ground so vc is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to v okay this is a potential at point potential at a point okay now find the current flow through the each capacitors for analysis purpose we have to find the potential at any path point and current flow through the other capacitors okay so first we know uh, current calculations if the voltage of, this is a capacitance here va vb let us take this voltage is va this voltage is vb then current i is equal to va minus vb voltage across a capacitor va minus vb divided by reactance xc xc means 1 by omega c so i is equal to va minus vb into omega c this is the basic calculation of current flow through the capacitors so okay now find the i1 i1 is equal to this point potential is va this point potential is ground zero okay this point this point is zero voltage 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 ground potential okay so i1 is equal to va minus zero into omega into c so i1 is equal to va into omega c va means va means v1 so v1 into omega c now find i2 this i2 i2 is equal to this potential is vb this potential is va so i2 is equal to vb minus va into omega c okay vb is equal to v1 plus v2 va is equal to v1 substitute here the value will be i2 is equal to v2 into omega c okay then we i3 here this potential is vc this potential is vb so i3 is equal to vc minus vb into omega c so substitute the values vc is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 and um, vb value v1 plus v2 we will get i3 is equal to v3 into omega c okay fine i1 small i1 Okay, small i1 small i1 means va minus 0 this potential is 0 so va minus 0 into k into omega c this part k into omega c fraction amount small i1 is equal to va into k omega c so va means v1 so small i1 is equal to v1 into omega into kc next find small i2 small i2 vb minus 0 into k omega c so i2 is equal to vb into omega k omega kc so substitute omega vb value so i2 is small i2 is equal to v1 plus v2 into omega kc similarly find i3 value i3 is equal to vc minus 0 into omega kc so uh, substitute vc value vc is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 we will get i3 is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 into omega kc this is a calculation of conflict with all the capacitors okay now apply this current law at junction a and b apply this current law at junction b here incoming current this is current law means sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current here sum of incoming current is equal to small i3 incoming current outgoing current is equal to small i2 plus capital i2 okay at junction a current law uh, incoming current is equal to capital i2 outgoing current uh, small i1 and capital i1 okay substitute these current values in this equation we will get i3 is equal to um, v3 omega c i3 is equal to v i3 is equal to v3 omega c i2 is equal to small i2 is equal to v1 plus v2 into omega kc plus capital i2 is equal to v2 omega c here in this equation capital i2 is equal to uh, v2 omega c small i1 is equal to v1 omega c plus capital i1 is equal to v1 omega c simply with this equation separate v1 and v2 you will get v3 is equal to v1k plus v2 into 1 plus k okay similarly simply this equation you will get 
V2 is equal to V1 into 1 plus K. This is a very important formula. Voltage across the disk V2 is equal to V1 into 1 plus K. We should remember this formula. Okay. Substitute in this equation, we will get V3 is equal to uh, V1K plus V1 into 1 plus K, the whole square. These two formulas are very much important for the calculation of efficiency. Okay. Let me discuss your yeah, problems. Here in this problem, self capacitance is given. Self capacitance is 5 times higher than the sun capacitance. We have to find this string efficiency, the number of disk is 3. Okay. In the given parameter is uh, k, k is only given, k is equal to 5, uh, number of disks is given 3. Okay. Uh, we know that efficiency is equal to uh, V1 plus V2 plus V3 divided 3 into V3 in 100. Okay. Here, hold the across disk is not given. Line voltage is not given. How to calculate the efficiency? Only given is k value, the fraction amount, the percentage effect only given. How to calculate? Remember this first formula uh, V2 is equal to V1 into 1 plus k. We know that. Substitute here k value 5. So V2 is equal to 6 V1. Okay. The second formula V3 is equal to V1 k plus V1 into 1 plus k the whole square. This formula. Substitute k values here. So, we will get V3 is equal to 5 V1 plus here K is equal to 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 square, that is 6 V1. So, we will get 41 V1. Okay. We know the efficiency equation here. Substitute all the values in this equation. So, efficiency is equal to uh, V1, V1 plus V2 is equal to 6 V1, V3 is equal to 41 V1 divided by 3 into V3, 41 V1. Uh, simply with the equation, we will get Efficiency is equal to 48 V1 divided by 123 V1. V1 will be cancelled. We will get 48 by 123. The answer is 39% efficiency. Okay. This is the calculation of efficiency. If K only given. If you don't know this formula. The voltage across the disk. Voltage across the disk 2 and 3. V2 and V3 formula. We did not calculate this efficiency. So remember this formula. Just note this formula in the formula note. When you are going to write an examination, just uh, recollect this formula. Okay, that will help to get good marks in the examination. Okay, now, do it yourself. I list two questions. Try to solve this question and command your answers. The first question is: This question is asked in TRB 2017 examinations. If potential across the disk are same, then what will be the efficiency? Very very easy stone. Okay, the second question: Here two disks only given. Voltage across the disk, disk top one is E2 and the voltage across the disk near to the connector is E1. Connector voltage is 11 kV is given. Self capacitance value is 5C and sun capacitance value is C. We have to find the voltage across the disk. This question is asked in gate 2010 examination. Try and command your answers. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment and share.